Hi, Dave. Are you okay? I am great. How are you today? Good. I'm also great. I feel good. I got up. I got woke up at like, well, I got woke up at like half five or five in the morning. Uh, and then I was awake at half five. It's like, I can't get back to sleep. Too excited. So, Christmas Day vibes. Well, yeah, it does. It, it, yeah, I, I feel at the moment my main thing is excitement. Um, I'm so excited I had courage. Wow, push the boat out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You? Uh I'm I'm good. I I got an actual night's sleep, so I feel feel pretty good and uh yeah. um yeah, uh, I I I didn't have porridge. I had granola for those who are keeping track of pillbug breakfast. Um which is kind of why we're doing this video, right? Like so um those of you who have followed us for previous launches uh have enjoyed our um pillbug interactive coffee with Sean on launch day vibes um yeah. and why why is that a thing why is coffee with sean a thing sean i i'm i'm a little bit over the, like well let me show you why it's a thing okay all right sure let's, yeah. let's do this with pictures pictures speak uh, louder so than this words. is like my coffee setup mm -hmm. or at least that's my coffee shelf can you mm -hmm. see that i i made this i i, I put this shelf up a pretty what, with, with your it. with your own bare hands with my own bare hands wow. joe helped as well Okay. Um, and then I have a Ancilio Silvia as well for espresso. Nice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, but we won't be using that. Um, yeah. yeah, my daily driver for coffee, which is what we'll be doing today, mm -hmm. is um, daily the, driver. Okay, okay, the the peak water filter uh -huh. to make nice brewing water with the right minerals for coffee. Of course. Um, the niche grinder, mm -hmm. which is super super niche good as oh, a grinder good. okay yeah, yeah yeah um i'm going to be setting that actually we can we can move we can set that to a medium core medium kind of i'm going like between 40 and 50 on the niche which is kind of like table salt kind of consistency okay yeah the grind size yeah um, but it's like man dude it's got like the birds in this thing Oof. Birds. They're like sorry you're yeah, using a birds. lot of technical jargon that mortals like me don't understand Birds are the things that chop up the coffee uh, and make it small enough to extract all the happy coffeeness. Nice. Um, and then I've got a fellow stag. Is it? Can you see the cow? No. Where is it? Yeah. There it is. Fellow yeah. stag, uh, like variable temperature pouring kettle. But in fact, it has like a, what's called a PID in it, uh -huh. which means you can get temperature to within like a degree. Um, so. What we're basically trying to express with this is that this isn't just Sean turning on the kettle when he makes a cup of coffee, and this isn't just launch day. This is like this is Sean's life. Uh, it is, um, you know, it's it, it's got more equipment than the many labs do. Like, it's, uh, yeah, that's that's the vibe, right? It's a lab it's, equipment it's, level. Yeah, I'm a weird coffee person. No, 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 that's not what I was trying to say. Uh, you're just a, uh, an individual who cares about the process of making uh, many drinks because you're into cocktails too, but 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 coffee especially. And that's yeah. and it's a bit early for a cocktail. That'll be later. That'll be this evening's video if we do, if we choose to stream Sean again making making beverages. Yeah. So obviously, like the audio, like normally, and when obviously we normally do this in the same room. Um, yes, but because of COVID things going on with me personally, I, I don't have COVID, but um, my wife is very vulnerable to it, so we we generally avoid people. Um, Makes sense. Yeah, that's why yeah. we're otherwise. So so I'm kind of like got a phone and have like a TikTok. Like I bought a tripod that puts a phone in it. Nice. I used that I used once, and it was the worst video we ever did on TikTok. <laughs> uh... So, that's I'm the sure way. the coffee video is going to go super sweet. Uh, yeah, sure this is this that. is like because you're about to find this is going to be my ultimate V60 technique, which is a very like coffee YouTubers they all have one. Okay, um, and I'm not a coffee YouTuber, but you know, we. Uh, I mean, there's something to yeah, something to aspire to, though, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shall I start? I can show you my coffee cupboard as well. Like, oh I, yeah, of course. Yeah, like we've got. Can you see that? I can't see the screen. Yeah, yeah. I can see like, lots of shelves all, of... Uh, that's all, like, equipment for coffee as well, like filters and yeah, 
like weird cleaning chemicals um and right. then two little things of coffee there yeah the camera back on the top isn't it right should i start making coffee i i guess so let's give the people what they came for right yeah mm -hmm. um yeah this is going to be really like really bees getting in the way of everything um this is going to be yeah anyway i'll just start doing it yeah yeah, uh, you can talk about like launch day stuff, and then I'll interrupt you when like there's an important process that's going to go. Okay, good. I look forward to being interrupted. Okay, so yeah, launch day stuff. So today from three p.m. Uh, British summer time, um, and then uh, check your time relevant time zones um, t to find out in an area near you. Um, Making it home will be live version one point uh, available for purchase from Steam and itch.io. Um, yes. and, uh, so both excellent platforms on which to buy your PC games. Yeah. Yes. Both. But both especially very... our PC games. Um, yeah. filter First there, Sean. Step, yeah. I'm folding. I took this filter. This is a V60 filter. I'm doing a V60 today. And I've done a fold across the seam. Right. And then that will fit into the, the filter much better. Ah, okay. Top tip, pro tips already. Pro yeah, tips from Sean. Perfect. Fold your filters. Pre-rinse. Pre I don't well. want coffee to taste of paper. I would, but I'm only using water from another kettle because Joe has just had a cup of tea. Okay. Whereas normally what I do is I would rinse it with water out of the tap. Right. But this is a bit cold. Yeah. And then I would just sit it on my other kettle and preheat it on top. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, it's like I used, I did used to boil a kettle to do that. But that's okay. like super bad for the environment. Like, so I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I'm actually, okay, so water is heating up um, and I've set it to mm -hmm. 100 degrees. 100 degrees. Yeah. We're going to go, yeah, which some of you, it's Celsius. Yeah. Some of you might refer to that as boiling. So, yeah. I mean, I might have initially and, yeah. you know, in my ignorance. And this is the coffee I'm going to be. Can you see that? Is that like? Uh, so, yeah, something washed. Ha Guatemala uh, el limon. Guatemala wash lemon washed. Pasha. 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 How do you say that word? Hush. I don't know. I don't know what language is it. I don't know. Guatemalan, I guess. What, what do they speak in Guatemala? That's one for us to Google later. But if I had yeah. to guess, it might be Spanish. <clears throat> yeah. Maybe that... French. Yeah. It's whichever colonial language they got lumbered with, I guess. Um, they might have their own. I don't know. This is that. That's. I'm just ha hands up. Don't know what they speak in Guatemala. I'm sorry. We will Google that later. Yeah. So this is this is part of my subscription from Has Been. Has Been really good. Yeah. Uh, but I do want to have a quick shout out. If people are interested in coffee, are in the UK, you should buy coffee from a place in Cardiff. Yeah. Support local businesses, although they may not be yeah. local to you, they're local to us. Yeah, Hardlines Coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like Hardlines. And, yeah, um, they send a card, they send one of these postcards with every single bag of coffee. Nice. So I've got a bunch of them, and I don't want to throw them out. So you're collecting them all, like Pokemon. Yeah. Still relevant reference, by the way. Yeah, uh, so uh, I'm going to measure out, so I'm measuring out um, 18 grams of coffee. 18 grams for for yeah. Dan, what does 18 grams of coffee make what's the fi what's the final goal of this sean the uh, it, i do like a uh six one to 16 ratio so take your coffee and times it by 16 to get your water okay so the 288 grams of water and for for people who don't measure um their coffee to this degree um is that one cup of coffee is that four cups of coffee what's what's 288 grams of water people don't do that <laughs> look um, I, I mean some people go as far as looking at the kettle and seeing that it says this much water is four cups of coffee that's like that's like the the, the degree of measurement most people manage okay, at this you're gonna, are you going to tell me next that you've never looked at the instructions on the inst instant coffee jar to see how much water you meant to put in? 
Of course I haven't done that. Like, it's one teaspoon, roughly, and uh, just uh, the, the cup's worth of water. It's a, it's a, it's, it's basically one cup, one okay. kind of relatively big cup. So one, there's the coffee. Okay, it's kind of like um, medium roast, probably. Okay. Like I don't like dark roast coffee. Okay. Uh, so why, why I ask that question, I think is really important for gamers, like board gamers and computer gamers, like the world over. How often have you been in a situation where someone started explaining the rules or what something is before they've really told you what you're actual goal in the game is yeah. of what you're what you're aiming for and that's yeah. always the thing you've got to start with right so mm-hmm. we're aiming for a cup of coffee here uh yeah. and 18 grams of coffee is it 18 yeah. yeah uh to 288 grams of water correct um Perfect. now also i've got another gadget here which is um the fellow like cof- i don't know what it's called but it's it's a it's a pot that yeah you do a vacuum seal um, for, for storing so, your coffee for storing coffee so you do want your vacuum. coffee so like when the coffee is roasted it's not great to start with you need uh-huh. it to kind of be gas of it but then once once that's happened it can go stale quite quickly uh, so you've got a vacuum sealed pot for your coffee yes exactly um so now things are going to get loud as i brew as i grind some coffee so, yeah, do you want to watch? Yeah, put me right next to that? the really loud thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Is that okay? Can you see? Uh, it? I could. I can see. Am I supposed to see the top? I don't yes. know. Yes. Now I can see the top, and I can see what's coming out. Yeah. It's not that loud. Okay. Yeah. Action shots. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, so now with this particular grinder, sometimes like the bunch gets stuck in this tube, so you have to kind of like knock it like that. So would that be a star knocked off the user rating then, Sean, for this particular well, niche yes, grinder? Well, yes, absolutely. Like a lot of grinders, if you go into like a, a nice coffee shop, mm. uh, their grinders, you'll see after they grind the coffee, that they, they, they'll like hit the thing on the side. Okay. And there's like a little piece of metal that's on a spring. And when they hit it, it will hit and then knock it off. Okay. But because it doesn't have that, I have to use the lid, which, you know. You, know, you found your I way mean, around it, but yeah. Well, someone else did. Like, that, that's just like some, some, someone else. Did. That was a pro tip from someone else? Yeah, I, I got that from um, Fair play. Was, I can't remember which YouTuber it was, but, but some YouTuber. Yeah. Okay. Piece of equipment that's really essential for coffee. Like I use this so much. Uh, you know what it says? Uh, it looks like a wooden chopstick. It's a wooden chopstick. Awesome. Uh, useful for all sorts of things. Uh, but so I'm going to put the chopstick. It's where things get tricky. Put the chopstick in the V60. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And then I'm putting the coffee in on top of that. Okay. Kind of like roughly flat. And then I'm going to turn the chopstick. Yeah, turn the chopstick. Like a couple of circles. Right. Into the center. Okay. Okay. Now the chopstick has done its job. Right. So what? What on earth did that just achieve? It now made it look like this. Can you see that? I can see a little swirl in there. Yeah. Yeah. So now what happens is when I put the water in. Yeah. It's going to get all the coffee wet really quickly, which is what we want. Ah, okay. All right. Yeah. So let's, how close can I get this, actually? Can I just, like... Yeah, I can see the top there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So, of there course, the people at home are already thinking I've made and drunk a cup of coffee by the time Sean is at this point. Well, yeah. I'm usually not describing this as I go. Like... It, It'll no, usually, sure. you know, take. I wonder if I can, I can get the time in as well. Oh no, no, that's too too. I'm asking too much of this. Yeah. Um, but but there you go. You've got a good shot of We've the. Got an action shot here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've got a timer on this kettle as well. So I push a button and the timer starts. Okay. And now what I'm doing. It sounds useful. Oh, yeah. Is getting fifty grams into here. 
mm -hmm. quite quickly. So that's roughly around 50. Can you see it blooming there? I can. I'm surprised yeah. you were happy with the phrase roughly around 50 grand. Like, Well, it's because at this stage, it's like, it's it's just enough to get it wet, okay. which is around 50 grams. Um, and yeah, and now I'm swirling it just to make sure it's all mixed. Sure. And then I leave it. And at this stage, it's just trying to get the carbon dioxide to kind of come out because the carbon dioxide will stop it from from extracting properly when we do the rest of the pour. Okay. Okay. Now I'm trying to aim for about 75% of the water in the next 30 seconds. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's all good. Um, Do you have so, any questions? Uh, so, so what, what, you, what was in that kettle that you're pouring in now is the full yes. 288 grams of water. Uh, no, so I'm, I'm. There's a bit more than that, but I've got a scale. I put it on a scale, so I'm, I'm looking at the, looking at it now. So. Yeah. Okay. And then once I've got 75 percent in, I'm just trying to stream in coffee at the top, like at the same rate it's coming out of the bottom. Yeah. So I want to try and keep the level oh, of the see. top here about okay. the same, mm -hmm. um, because it's a lighter roast of coffee, so we really want to keep it hot in in there where it's brewing. That's a real yeah. delicate dance, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is like, you don't have to do it like this. The thing, I mean, like, Sean, we, we no one has to do anything that you've done so far, but that's the point. No. Right? Like, this is yeah. your method mm -hmm. for how you enjoy making coffee as a process. And I think the thing the thing is, and I've, the way I've explained this to people, particularly espresso is even worse than this, is that every so often you get that, uh, so, like all the stars align you get this amazing coffee, cup of coffee that tastes like fruit and chocolate and everything mm -hmm. and all of these it, but it's just so like there's so many variables it's really hard to be consistent so all of this stuff really all it is is just a way of being consistent okay so, those variables so you can yeah. repeat what you're doing that's fair my question therefore is what about your mouth and the state of your taste buds and all the other things that generate, yeah. that make up the human taste sense? Yeah. Um, that's presumably a huge set of variables. Do you try and get yes. that as consistent as possible? Is there things you palate cleanse before a cup of coffee or anything mm, like that? Not really. So, uh, but I will talk like, so, okay. So I did a swirl at the end to make it to flatten everything. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the idea is you're trying to get it to touch all the coffee like all the ground coffee at the same time sure and like i might try and have some water like or something like mm -hmm. i would because yeah, i don't you, want you, to yeah because when you get when you buy espresso in italy for instance they serve it with a glass of water yeah so you're supposed to drink the water first then knock the espresso back are you was that yeah. a, a statement do you know that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i didn't know that i i've always known the other way around Oh really? Uh, yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it's the water first because it is a palate cleanser. Yeah, I guess that's the idea. That makes sense. But I, I could um, see, I could see you like. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I mean espresso obviously is a very strong flavor, so maybe people do are like, right, I'm going to knock the espresso back, but I'm going to uh, have the glass of water so that when I walk out the coffee shop, I'm not tasting coffee, but or really strong coffee. But I would have thought. That's kind of the point. Like you like the taste of coffee. Yeah. yeah. Um, so also really important. Well, if, if you care mm -hmm. as much as I do, it's important. Okay. Um, is to, I well, I did it. I didn't do it into my cup, which I used to do. Like I yeah. did it into a, a server, and I stirred it because it's a layered coffee. Is a layered drink. What do you mean by that? I mean, what I mean by that is. If, what you can do is, if we were to set up, I'm going to go sit on here. Right, sit down now. Oh, I've got coffee. If you, um, if you were to kind of start brewing a cup of coffee, and then like every like twenty seconds, move it onto a different cup, so you had like a bunch of different cups of coffee brewed mm -hmm. at the different times of the brew. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Mm -hmm. They would all taste very different, and they'd all taste kind of not very nice. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. So it's layered, so it brews different flavors at different times. So, like, 
right at the start you get a lot of sweetness and then you kind of get acidity and then um some sourness um, and then the end is kind of like body and, um so okay. if you don't mix them as you drink drink it it's like yeah mm. so, yeah that's why so yeah i just made a coffee um, I, I feel like i'm sorry i'm like we're talking about like different things there and i i feel like yeah. we missed the fl- the flourish the the pour did you do that oh, on the camera yeah i did okay mm-hmm. i missed it sorry sure just th- thinking and talking about other stuff okay so how does it taste oh you gotta wait have you gotta wait have you gotta wait a little bit yeah, yeah i need to wait for it to cool down so yeah. if that's another thing is like my taste buds your taste buds are kind of rubbish when stuff's hot so you need to make let it cool a little bit that makes sense um, yeah, but I do find I have found since I started drinking cocktails that I've been able to taste more of my coffee. Yeah, uh, because like you learn, like the, one of the hardest things to do is to tell the difference between sourness and bitterness. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm not sure I would always be able mm-hmm. to tell the difference between that, especially in a, co- yeah. a flavor as complex as coffee. Yes, because it like so sourness is. Sourness is what you get from like um, lemons and limes. Mm. That's sour. Mm-hmm. Whereas bitterness is tends to be is what you get from like chocolate. But that's, that's useful. You, yeah. Yeah. People associate the two because, like, well, they're very they do they are very hard to tell the difference between, um, like, the pith of like citrus fruits is bitter. Yeah. So you uh, often get bitterness okay. when you yeah. know of sourness and it's yeah. and like coffee is bitter and sour so and they both make you make this face yeah so there's yeah. that too right um but uh okay okay so and um what sorry which one are you aiming for in coffee more like which do you prefer then if you say they're you both wanna, in there they're both in there and you kind of want to balance mm-hmm. so that, like you're trying to so you bitter and sour tell you if your coffee tastes overly bitter, you over extracted the flavors. Okay. Yeah. If it's sour, you under extracted it. Oh gosh. Okay. So it's it that's how you so so you know you did something wrong if your coffee is unpleasantly one of those things. But because it and it's only since I really understood the difference between those two things, I could then use that unpleasantness to then make a change that improves things. Um, right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you're really looking for a middle ground, not to one or the other. Yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, yes. I mean, some people, it depends. Sometimes, like on a certain coffee, you might think this is this has got real, this is really fruity, so mm-hmm. I'm going to actually make it quite sour. Yeah. Or well, not but sour, like I don't know. You sometimes say sour is like a, a negative thing, isn't it? But yeah. You well, try yeah, and balance I mean, the sour with sweetness. I think you're so. right. Like, uh, you know, we tend to associate sour and bitter with negative flavors, but l- lots of people really like those flavors. Like, you're a big fan of, uh, is it fair to say, bitter cocktails, like the Negronis yeah. and things like that? Yeah. Um, yeah. And some people actually buy apple sours and uh, yeah. other sour yeah. sweets as an enjoyable thing. Yeah. Especially we don't tend to associate those flavors with positive coffee, but that's probably more our ignorance rather than um a feeling like we can't have those flavors in coffee or mm-hmm. uh, yeah okay and mm-hmm. uh, can i ask about milk um uh, you can you can ask so um, you won't that, have that, any I, milk so i wouldn't put the, so i wouldn't put milk in this mm-hmm. and but if if you enjoy like uh, that doesn't mean i judge anyone that uh-huh. does um if you if you wanted, if like I knew you wanted milk in your coffee, I'd make the coffee a different way. Okay. How how so, so in brief terms? Um, well, you'd probably make it so it was like, so you know how I did 16, I, I my ratio, mm-hmm. right? So yeah. it, it was coffee to water. So I think that you're going to add milk. So I'll have more coffee per water. Okay. Um, yeah. You're going to lengthen it with the milk. Um, so then I'd probably use something like an AeroPress okay. rather than. Which is more, or even like I'd say, hey, I'm going to make you an americano, mm-hmm. and that's that would work better, I think. Okay, so this is first tasting. It's nice. It's still hot to kind of really. It's a bit too hot to really tell, but yeah, a little bit. Like it's okay. maybe approaching sour. Yeah, but not really. Like it's there. The sour, there's there is bitterness and sour okay. at the moment. So yeah. like, 
Fair enough. But it's nice. It's like proper tea. This I had this one this morning with an AeroPress, so I'm like, this is gonna taste different because I brewed it differently. Okay. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so, uh, how many how many coffees have you already had today, and how many will you have by the end of the day? Um, this is my second cup of coffee, but the mm. first one I had was very small. Okay. Um, I might have one more cup. Right. Uh, depending, I try not to have too much coffee. Like it's not good. And it also so, takes you a fair while to do, so, you know. Well, that that is the good thing, though. It's really weird because it's like the process of making the coffee is really good for my mental well-being, but then drinking the coffee and having the caffeine that increases anxiety is not. <laughs> so it, it's... Um, that makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. All righty. Uh, so um, just to wrap up then, Sean, uh, this has been Sean's Coffee Morning uh, with Pillbug Interactive. Uh, what else are we doing today? What's the, what, what else does our launch day look like? Um, so we, it's just, we, we're just going to be doing, we're just going to be doing, um, that stream, right? Yeah. We've got a big stream this Pretty afternoon, much. uh, and we'll be live in time for the game release at one, uh, version mm -hmm. 1.0 at 3pm. Yeah. Uh, yep. probably streaming a little bit earlier just to get everybody super psyched and hyped um yeah. and uh yeah we'll be around we'll be checking social so come on to twitter mm -hmm. or our discord or tiktok um yeah uh find us at pillbug int on most of those platforms uh come say hi let us know what you think about making it home how you feeling about release day um and uh yeah we'll be around chatting to everyone and uh cut swing by the stream at three uh uk time mm -hmm. yeah cool. yeah Cheers, Sean. Thanks for showing us your, your Thanks, uh, extreme coffee uh, setup. Um, mm -hmm. Coffee YouTube fame beckons, I'm sure. Yes. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, like, subscribe, share. Happy internet buttons. Bell? Uh, bell? Probably. There's a bell somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, click the bell. And here's my five other best coffee videos all around here. <laughs> yeah, we'll put them in in post. All right, dude. Yeah, yeah. All right. See you Thanks, later. Sarah. Bye. Bye.